please read the disclaimer. Hello and welcome! I'm Bio and today we're looking at another lesser known Pokemon game. This time around it's Pokemon Conquest, a game I did not even know existed until like a couple of years ago. Yeah, I, it's like who would have thought that Nintendo and Koei Temko would come together for this? Like I know they have done recently with like Hyrule Warriors, but it's just this is like another thing entirely. It's just like wow, okay. At least to me, it's like, wow. So this is a turn... This it's, is a strategy game. With Pokemon and, like, history figures. Like, that's o Oda Nobunaga there, if I just change it to the thing here. Yeah, that's Oda Nobunaga, right? So, interesting. So I'm only going to play a little bit of this, because obviously it's kind of an RPG. Well, I guess it's a strategy, isn't it? So I don't know how this game is going to be. Maybe it's going to be like Advance Wars. Maybe it's going to be like Fire Emblem. Who knows, right? But uh, like I said, this game was developed by Koei Temco Games. Obviously published by Nintendo. That's why I don't even mention the publisher. Because it's Nintendo. And it was released in June 2012 for the West. So... We can pick between a boy and a girl. Okay. Pick a boy. You have a boy. Is this right? I mean, <laughs> like a like a like a normal Pokemon game. Obviously, I'll put my name in here. There we go. Bio. Your name will be set as Bio. Is this all, is this right? Yes. I was going to go through that intro again, so we'll skip that. Okay, I'm going to swap these round because it looks like this is going to be the main screen. The Kingdom of Aurora. Well, that's me. Hmm. Ah. So this is Aurora's new warlord. <laughs> no, I'm just... Hmm. Hey, is that an Eevee? That's a Pokemon you don't usually see around here. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, okay. So my, so the main character that you play as has an Eevee. Hey, you. You're by right. Aurora's new warlord. We're from Ignis. That's the kingdom next to this one. And we've come to challenge you to a battle. <sighs> so, cool. We're thrown straight into a battle. I like that. That's good. Okay. Bio's army versus Hideyoshi. Hideyoshi's army. Okay. Okay, let's take... So, we're going up against a Tepic. So, there's Tepic. <laughs> and we have a Bidoof. And <laughs> we got Bidoof, the strongest Pokemon. <laughs> I'll defend this kingdom to the very end. And there's an Eevee. And that's all I have. So we got to defeat all enemies. Okay. In 20 turns. So it is quite literally uh, like a turn-based tactics. Kind of like Advance Wars. Kind of. Yeah, there's only one of you. This is going to be easy. Aurora's as good as ours. Please wait. Oh, we got help from, J from the Jigglypuff girl. I'll fight with you. Okay. Nice. Well, the more the merrier. Join forces if you like, it won't make a difference. Alright then. If you say so. So... Probably this is the only battle we'll end up doing, you know, if I'm honest. Just to see, it's just, again, the whole entire point of the, like, any of my videos is just to see what the game's like. See if it's my kind of thing, what I'd like. If it's got this kind of gameplay, it's not going to be my kind of thing. Like, Advance Wars was like a one-time thing. I've only played Dual Strike, and I'm only inter like only interested in that game. That's so why I did a Bio Classic on it. Like, I'm not really interested in any of the others. I'm not a big fan of, uh, of these types of games. I find them to be very slow. Like, slower than RPGs, you know what I mean? 
Like RTSs on the on the um, PC are a little bit different, but these kind of ones are very. These type of games are, in my opinion, are just stupidly slow. The only one, only one of these types of games I enjoyed recently was Wargroove. If I'm honest with you, but that plays more like Advance Wars. So, okay, it's my turn, so I can select that. Yep, I can figure that. Try moving over here. It gives you controls, but I can use the touch screen to basically do whatever. There we go. Hideyoshi's army's turn. Well, I feel sorry for you, having just become a warlord in your But you're gonna have to leave that castle in Aurora before you even settle in. So why is the young boy a warlord? Is it... Very strange. These people take our castle, or we'll be alright, leave this one to me. So what's she gonna do? Oh, she's gonna go fight the Bidoof. Double slap. Okay. And Bidoof is dead. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I can... It's a tutorial, it's fair enough, whatever. I can fight, fantastic, what can I do? Fight forward, EB used quick attack. And he defeated Tepic. Fantastic. I don't think we've won the battle. Victory! So yeah, it's basically just a standard RTS affair. It's like, Advanced Wars has a very specific type of battle system. And it's and so does Fire Emblem. But this is just the standard R standard real-time, uh, real-time, standard turn-based, my mistake, turn-based, turn-based strategy affair. Something that you'd find from, I don't know, like Final Fantasy Tactics, which I've, you know, I've played a few of the Tactics games. I've never been into this genre, if I'm honest. Like, I love RPGs, but I've never really been into the uh, turn-based tactics games. Like, I played um, a little bit of um, Final Fantasy Tactics A2 on the DS. And it was okay, I didn't finish it, but it just wasn't really my kind of thing. Oh, it's Oichi. Yeah, so these are actually, like, historical figures, I think. Oh boy, would you willing to have me? I can say no here. Why give me the option to say no when if I say no, it's basically going to go, Oh, really? Why are you going to be like that? Oh, please let me join. And then it will just give you the option of yes by itself. Or it will be like, I've misheard you. I'm pretty sure you said yeah. Why give bother giving you the option? I'm just going to say yes because it, 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 the, what's the point? I hate games that do that. Give you the option of yes or no. If the game actually went through with it and when you said no, she actually just went off. And like maybe later on in the game, you got the choice to get her. You had the choice to have her join your army again. But you know it's not an actual choice. It's just a fake choice. Because I know video games, boys, and I can guarantee you it's going to be a fake choice. The Ranse region, an area inhabited by warriors. The, those privileged few capable of communicating wordlessly with Pokemon. In Ranse, there is a tale of yore passed down from generation to generation. Wait a second, isn't this like isn't this pace basically Pokemon Legends Arceus Rising? Well, no, Pokemon Legends Arceus in it. Pokemon Legends Arceus is this? Isn't this what this is? Technically speaking, <laughs> fucking Koei did it before Nintendo even tried. <laughs> I know this is basically just like if Dynasty Warriors joined with Pokemon and turned it into a real-time strat into a turn-based strategy. It keeps trying to say it real-time. I don't know why. I guess I could swap the art around. The art's quite nice. I like the art. It's pretty cool. Fenikinu, you're a Jigglypuff. Stronger. First, let's take around the here. So we probably can look around. 
Oh, so we can save, and we can do training battles, and we can go around the city of Aurora. Alright, I can kind of see. I'm going to be honest with you, I know we're only just hit the 10 minute mark, but I'm, I'm not interested in playing anymore. I've seen a test battle, I've seen what the battle system has, I've seen what this game is going to be, and it's just not my type of game. It's interesting though to, to see it, and I, I'm, I'm, like I said, I didn't even know this game existed. Like, if I had known this game existed back in 2012, I'm pretty sure I would have picked it up. Like, just because it's Pokemon. Regardless. And I probably, regardless of it being a, a turn-based uh, strategy, or turn-based tactics game, turn -based, it's turn-based strategy, isn't it? Um, I probably would have played it. And back then, I probably would have loved it, but now I, I, you know, I'm more... I know what genres I enjoy, and I don't really enjoy these genre, this genre particularly, so... So I'm, I'm fine with calling it there. So that was Pokemon Conquest. It seems like it, you know, if you like these type of games, you and it, it, you, if you love turn-based strategies and you love Pokemon, you'll love this. Why wouldn't you at the end of the day? But uh, turn-based strategy is just not my type of game. So even though it's Pokemon, I just don't think I can enjoy it. So yeah, I've been Bio. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.